Hello, hello, my babies. How are you doing from wherever you are watching me from today? The channel is naturally black and it's all about natural hair, natural locks. And uh, we also talk about self-acceptance, self-positivity, self-awareness, self-confidence, raising your self-esteem, you know, all those goody goodies about yourself. So today the topic we are talking about is the problems facing this generation. And this is a generation like the 21st century from when did it start 2000 to 2099 so that is a generation um cutting across itself um uh, so my first point is that we all know too much we all know too much we never accept to hear from one another we never accept to hear nor listen like everyone knows everything so what are you trying to tell me you know so the point number two is that we all think we are equal no one accepts to go down for the other like we are all equal i can do for thee ah, i can do it for him like we all think we are equal so no one is supposed to do shit for any other person number three is that we are all right like we are all right in our own way like we all think we are all right like we are always right you know no one accepts to be corrected and no one like even people correcting someone it takes time for someone to correct your bad behaviors then we are so individualistic we are the i and the me generation like that is what i like that is the name like i've come up with so like i, I want to do this i am going to oh i and then me 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 kwetu me my home you know like we are so individualistic and uh, that i if that mentality the i changes into a we that will just be so awesome for us guys then if there is a problem we say you or they and not we like you did this you have finished this or you didn't do this you know instead of we like the point if like i i noticed that if you want to correct someone and you tell them that we it will be easier for the person to feel like they need to change or they need to do the right thing but if you tell them you especially in a family context or in a friendship basis or maybe you live in the same house like oh i think we forgot to to do this and you know for sure the person is the one who's supposed to do that the person will likely own up uh more than if you would have told the person like um you didn't do this the number five is that there are not too many male mentors we don't have a lot of male mentors and a lot of male to look up to i say that with no um and i don't fear to be uh control co uh, the, like the fear of controversy it's okay if you feel like it's different for you and where you come from but for me and how i think and how i see things we lack male mentors our men lack advice and people to look up to like even for us ladies like even if you're looking for a man we have those ideas in our head that we want a man looking like this and most especially to the to the female who didn't grow up with such a man to look up to yeah you got me you get where i'm coming from okay the number six is that there are so many female mentors there are so many female ladies and leaders and all that to look up to so all duties womanly don't lack people to do them but duties manly are being fought for or are fought off you get what i'm saying like the duties that are for the women or they look womanly if i may say because now we are not into the type of generation where this is what men are supposed to do and this is what women are supposed to do but we are all fighting for what women should do like that is what we all want to do 
but for what the men are supposed to do there is no one to even show them that this is what they're supposed to do and they even don't know that they're supposed to do it in the first place so number seven is we give up too we give up too much and too fast babies we lack consistency we lack consistency we don't have a fighting spirit in us like we we just look at these then we touch these we touch these we want to do everything at the same time then we don't want to do anything at some point you know then number eight is that we take up everything so casually like we all joke too much babies we joke too much we are hey my guys we joke too much we are joking too much we joke too much we are joking too much okay uh we joke even in uh relationships we joke in friendships we bring jokes in families in our jobs in our character like we don't even know who we are we joke about it we we joke about respect we joke about money you know we joke about everything we joke about everything sex we joke about it number nine is we are so lawless even when we are wrong like we don't want to be told like yo don't tell me yo you niggas and shit you know we joke a lot we joke a lot about everything everything we joke we just joke everywhere okay the number 10 is we focus on other issues like you know in like um <laughs> like a letter or like something you're supposed to do and then we always have like issue number one or even in meetings like when you're writing uh minutes for a meeting there's like then point number one two three and then up to number ten and then there are other imagine issues like we run to those other imagine issues instead of dealing with like point number one two three you know as we come down we run like we start the book upside down like we go to other imagine issues and then we go up even in our own lives like we deal with what is so irrelevant and then at the end of the day when you're 40 it's when you realize by then i never dealt with these i never dealt with these in my life you know then number 11 is we trying to be in relationships yet we haven't realized who we are and who we are meant to be okay like i've read this book becoming michelle obama and she has wrote about when uh okay the the instance where she and um obama met and she talks about it in a way that shows like okay she tries to tell or show us that obama knew who he was before they met actually so like we don't even have like such a picture of who we really want to be for ourselves and who our part what exactly do we want our partner to come into our life and meet we don't even know like we are just there running up and down in relationships you break down then you 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 nini so we don't even know like exactly exactly what type of person we just running if we see something good in person we run i'm also a victim and i'm trying to deal with that <laughs> yeah so uh, of course i'm part of this generation so i'm not such a good uh, i'm not perfect you know then we can't get satisfaction from the outside world we need to know that we can't get satisfaction from the outside world you get your own source of energy which should be within you like from inside there are things that you should feel like you need to do them and this is what makes you live this is what this is who you are and not go out there looking for reasons why not reasons why you can do that to yourself you're breaking yourself down into pieces just yourself my boobos then we carry the problems frustrations of our parents with us instead of learning from it like we carry the frustrations of our parents with us the problems of their generation we want to like put them on our shoulders instead of learning from it and running from it like 
run i don't mean run from your problems like don't deal with them i mean run positively like you know this is what has been eating up your family and eating up where you come from and eating up you as a person you need to run away from it like you need to have like such a mind where you don't want to deal with those issues in your life anymore then uh, you run from something with an open mind not with a closed mind like i can do this so you run no 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 then we need to stop crying out our problems no one cares about your problems boo no one cares the only thing that people care about is what you put out there and i think i've said this enough times even in my other videos like the only thing that people care is what you put out there so stop going out there um destroying your name and telling people i did i used to you know deal with your issues stop crying here we don't care we don't care boo -boo. we don't baby okay so uh, i love you guys take care of yourselves i hope this point helped you and also you can tell me what else you want me to talk about and if not that you can just leave a comment down below down below in the comment sections I love you. Peace.